In this episode, we're going to talk about how you can download and install NVIDIA's new RTX GI, which is a new version of global illumination that doesn't have to have RTX cards in order to work. You can have a 10 series card, but it can take these emissive materials and use ray tracing global illumination to light the scene and make a huge, huge difference in the quality you're getting. And all you're doing is just enabling it and it just goes. The other thing we're going to talk about, regular lights and how you're gonna get bounce lighting to where you can get those shades and variation as it bounces. And here's another instance where we have one ceiling light without global illumination on, and we turn it on and we get all that nice bounce light that affects all the geometry in the scene. So one of the challenges with RTX GI is not the technology, but actually getting Unreal Engine to support it. It's not something you can go to the Epic Games Store, download the plugin and just go. You're going to have to get source code, sign up for accounts and compile it on your own. And along the way, you're going to need to, like I said, have a number of accounts. So let's go over that first. If you're wanting to download the NVIDIA version of Unreal Engine 4 that has some enhancements for RTX line cards and also is able to use the RTX GI plugin, then you're going to need to join the NVIDIA developer program. So go to this link and instead of member area, you're going to click on join now. If you already have your NVIDIA development membership, go ahead and go to the bottom of this form, which I will link in the description, fill out this survey, click on submit, and then within a day or two, you will have access to the NVIDIA branches on GitHub. There's three separate accounts you're going to want to sign up for at minimum. The first of which is a GitHub account, and eventually, once you're signed up, this is where you're going to download the Unreal Engine source code for whatever branch of Unreal Engine you want to compile. You need to go ahead and sign up for an Epic Games account and eventually you use that to link your Epic Games account and your GitHub account together. Now, even though we're not at this step of the process yet, it's worth mentioning since a lot of people get stuck here and I myself did as well, that if your Epic Games account and your GitHub account are not linked and you try and follow a link or get to the spot where you think you're gonna be able to download that source code, you're gonna get this 404 error. You're also going to need Microsoft Visual Studio Community, either 2019 or 2017. I'm going to be using 2017, but obviously feel free to use the newer version as well. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. So go ahead and use the link in the description and click on download. It might ask you to sign in. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. But eventually you'll end up at the landing page. You can choose Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 Community. Then you can finally click that download link. The download link is really small, but you might want to keep it for the future reference so you don't have to download it again. When you actually load the installer, you want to make sure to choose Game Development for C++. You also want to scroll down and use the Unreal Engine installer. Then under Optional Components, I'm not going to even try and pronounce this, but you want to grab this guy that I have selected right here and make sure that's included as well. And once you have all that, instead of modify, you click install. Go ahead and click on sign in on unrealengine.com. And once you are logged in, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of linking our accounts. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and click on our account name here and go to personal. And once we're in here, we can go ahead and go down to connected accounts. And we want to go ahead and you can see I already have this connected to my GitHub account, but you want to go ahead and add that account and have it connected. And once you do that and you're logged into both, you should be able to get onto GitHub and get the Unreal Engine for source code branches. So we're finally at the point where we're going to be getting the actual RTX GI plugin. You're going to download the SDK at this page, which actually has the Unreal Engine 4 plugin built into it that you have to use with the source code version. The easiest way to download is at the top. Just go on, click on code and then click on download zip file and it will download a relatively small file. After that, you're going to need to download the actual NVIDIA build of Unreal Engine 4 if you want it. You can use Epic's vanilla version if you want, but again, click on the code button, click on download zip. This is going to be a much longer download. After that, extract both of those files. Once you've downloaded and extracted the files from GitHub, whether it's the Epic Games version of Unreal Engine 4 or the NVIDIA custom version, you need to go into the main folder and run the setup.bat file, and that's going to download any other files that needs in order to run. After that's done, which might take a while, you're going to run the generate project files.bat file. And again, that's going to get things ready. And it's going to generate the ue4.sln file, which is the file you're going to use inside of Visual Studio in our next step to actually start finally building this source code. Regardless of what branch you're using, once you've gotten to this step, the process is going to be the same. So I'm going to outline it with one version here, but just know that it's going to work for your version as well. The next step we're at now is to actually compile the source code. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the path to the files here. And I'm going to go file open and then project solution and just paste this in. You could double click on the file, but if you have different versions of Visual Studio installed, it's a little bit better to know which one it's actually opening up in. I'm going to go ahead and click on the UE4.sln file and open it up. 
And if there's any extra files it needs in order to load the file correctly, you can go ahead and choose to install them right away. But once everything is installed, you should be able to open up the project without any issue. And there's just a couple things you need to make sure that you check before you go ahead and build the solution. First thing is you want to go ahead and make sure in this drop down is set to development editor. You want to make sure you're building for Windows 64. And then in the engine folder, you're going to right click on UE4 and choose build. This is by far going to take the longest time out of all the process. So this would be a good time to take a break and go for a walk or something like that. All right, so once the build is completed, you'll want to go down to the output tab here and make sure it did succeed. If you have some failed modules, you'll want to try and check in the error list why that is. And ideally you want to rebuild and make sure that it goes through without any hiccups. All right, so once you have your version of Unreal Engine 4 compiled, whether it's the Epic Games version or the NVIDIA specialized version for RTX GI and their DLSS, you're going to need to go ahead and patch that version to include the code for the RTX GI plugin to appear. Now I have a number of windows up here, I don't want to get confused, but just so you know, all the steps I'm going to go through here, under the RTX GI main, which is the extracted folder of the GitHub of RTX GI, if you open that folder and just keep going through until you hit docs, the index.html is what I'm looking at here. And I've just clicked on the bottom here for Unreal Engine 4 plugin. So just so you know, if you need to get to that on your own, that's where you would find it. So on this side, I'm going to go ahead and double click on the RTX GI folder and go to the Unreal Engine 4 plugin folder. And this depends on what version you have. In this case, I'm using the Unreal Engine 4 NVIDIA RTX DLSS version, NVIDIA's version. So I would use this patch file. If you used Epic Games's Vanilla version, you go ahead and use this patch version. But so regardless, you're going to go under your Unreal Engine 4 version and in the base root folder, you're going to copy the patch file that matches. So in this case, if I go and scroll down, you can see I've already dragged over this patch file. Now you do have to do a couple steps through command prompt, but it's not difficult. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through in case you haven't used command prompt much. So I already have this window open, but if you don't, you just go ahead and press the Windows key and you're not going to see everything, but you just type CMD and you're going to see command prompt, just go and click on that and it'll open up the window. I already have one open here, so I'm just going to leave this here. But first you need to navigate to the folder where you just copied this patch folder to. Now this is not too bad, it's basically, I'm going to click here so I can see the entire path that I can see this is on my D drive. Right now you can see I'm on the C drive, so I'm going to just type D or whatever drive letter it is, and then colon and then enter, and you actually go to that drive. Now the next part is going to be copy and paste, I need to change where I'm located at to this spot right here. So instead of clicking on the windows, I'm going to say CD space and CD stands for change director. I'm just going to grab this spot right here. Control C to copy, control V to paste. I'm going to say change my directory to this spot right here and press enter. And now I'm actually in the exact same spot here in this window as I am in the command prompt. And so there's a couple things you want to run. First, you want to make sure that it's going to apply it correctly. And the name of this file might be different based on what version you're using. So what I would recommend you do is just go ahead and type git apply and then dash dash check and then start to type the name and press tab. And it's going to fill in the rest of the name for the patch you actually have. Now, if you press enter and you get any errors, that means that you don't have something installed that you need to. So look at what it is it's listing. It's probably something you're missing in the Visual Studio installer, but it could be something else. But go and check that. In this case, when I actually press enter, I'm going to get a bunch of errors. But you can see it because it says already exists, already exists, already exists. Because I've already not only put the patch here, but I've also already applied the patch. So in this case, just tell me, hey, you've already done this stuff, so you don't need to apply the patch. But in your case, you're probably going to get if everything's set up correctly, you're going to get nothing. You're, it's just going to spit you back to the command prompt and look exactly the same here. If that's the case, you're going to go ahead and run the exact same command, but you're going to take out that. And by the way, I just pressed up and down to load previous commands on the keyboard. So I'm just going to take out this check dialog right here and press enter. And that's going to go ahead and apply the patch to your actual version of Unreal Engine. Now from here, you might be able to just go ahead and launch Unreal Engine as you normally would. And uh, in, in just so you know, in order to run it with ray trace and enable, you need to actually go to the folder that has the executable. So in this case, I'll go to my Unreal Engine folder, engine, binaries, Windows 64, because that's what I'm on. And then it's called before editor. Now you can set up a shortcut to run this in direct DirectX 12 mode, and I'll go ahead and talk you through that. All I have to do is right click on the ue4editor.exe file, Go to send to and then 
desktop create shortcut, and that creates a shortcut on your desktop. To have it run with the DX12 flag or to run it in that mode, you're going to right click on that shortcut and go to properties. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the beginning and the end of this target in quotation marks and then put a space and then dash DX12. So it's saying run everything from the executable inside these quotation marks and then add this flag at the end, which is the DirectX 12 mode. Once you click on apply and okay, anytime you double click on this and I go ahead and try and rename this UE4 DX12, just so I know that I'm running it in DirectX 12 mode there. Whenever you double click on that, it's going to launch the engine in DirectX 12 mode, which you need to do in order to run it with ray tracing effects. Now at this point, I want to give you a tentative pat on the back and say congratulations. You should have a working version of RTX GI in Unreal Engine 4, but definitely before you start going and changing things, you want to make sure it's actually working. So to test this, go ahead and make a scene very similar to mine. I mean, this is, you can see how clearly this is done. Basically, I just have enclosed walls and just have a little spot where I am letting a spotlight bleed through here. And in order to start RTX GI, all you really need to add is under all classes, if it is installed correctly, if you type DDGI, you should get DDGI volume and you drag this out and whatever is inside here is actually what is going to be allowed to get ray traced by the RTX GI uh, technology. So inside here, I already have one placed and you can see actually that's what's bleeding over the edges right here. This is my if I click on this, here we go. This is my DDGI volume. And in here, when it's in disabled, so I'm going to go ahead and press the tilde key, which is next to the one key on the key strip on your keyboard. I'm going to start to type DDGI. And you can see right here, this is the first option here. I'm going to type zero. And this is what it looks like when it's off. You don't get any of this nice bounce light from the light coming through here. If I go ahead and press the tilde key again and press up to bring up my previous commands. I do RTX DGGI and add a one to the end instead. You can see I'm getting that bounce light. Now, last but not least, if I don't want to use that light up here, I can go ahead and select that and disable it. Or just in this case, I'll just go ahead and turn off the visibility. If you have emissive volumes, that should, if I just apply a white shader to these walls right here, you should get bounce light from emissive volumes, which usually don't get an Unreal on anything in the environment as well. So this way I can know that, okay, this technology after this painstaking process we've gone through is actually working. So in the last and final step, I'm gonna show you a little bit of cleanup and then finally you can call this a completed task. So this last and final step is optional, but if you haven't noticed, your Unreal Engine source build is way bigger than one you would download directly through the Epic Games Launcher. This install folder right now at the base is 124 gigabytes but you can reclaim a lot of that space. And where you can do that is if you know you're not going to need to change this build, anyway. if the RTX GI is running, you don't need to add any extra plugins you need to build through Visual Studio or anything like that. You can go to the main folder and then engine, and then there is an intermediate folder. And that intermediate folder you can see in my case is 43.3 gigabytes by itself. This is all intermediate stuff that if you need to rebuild something in Visual Studio for some reason, it's going to accelerate that process a lot. It's going to finish it and not take as long as it did that first painstaking time. That being said, if you know you're not changing this build anymore, you can just delete this intermediate folder and everything is going to run perfectly. So congratulations, you've reached the very end of this. I know this is very painful. Hopefully in video we'll make this a little bit more user friendly in the future and they will make versions where all of this is built into or can be just injected directly into a build of Unreal Engine from the Epic Games Launcher just as a regular plugin like everything else. In the meantime, we have to go through the source build process, but hopefully this has kind of demystified it and made it at least a little bit less painful to where you can actually get up and going with this. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try and help if I can. And I'll see you on the next Johnny How To.